Hi Capricorn, welcome to your weekly forecast. And this is for February 17th until 23rd. Now let's take a look what's going to be coming your way. Mm. Oh, a water sign from the past. Which is someone who's younger than you. Who wants to come and see you and will be making him, you know, like a major communication. <clears throat> Somebody from the past, which is a younger water sign, you know, with an earth sign element in them, will be getting in touch with you. And will be, you know, um, it's like they just want to start a small talk or until that, you know, there's something that they want to tell you. I don't feel like this person is up to anything of a mischief, but I feel like it has something to do with your past. You will also be traveling within the middle of the week only to run away from a certain situation or from a current domestic problem. Now... You've been thinking a lot about this, you know, this um, this water sign as well for the past few days. And you feel like, you know, like why all of a sudden this person keeps on, you know, going through my mind. And I haven't been thinking about this person for such a long period of time. You know what the thing here is? You are feeling this person. Okay, you, it's not that you're thinking about them intentionally. But I feel like they are the one who is trying to send a message across to you because you have already like you know cut off the ties and you have already uh, you know burned down the bridge and they don't know how to reach out to you that the only way for them to reach out to you is to connect with you spiritually or mentally or emotionally that even though it's been you know it's been so long and it's been for how many years already you can still feel the connection between the two of you that there was once upon a time real love and real connection between the two of you but then again you know there's an outside influence or outside influences that actually um, deterred your you know your relationship in the past and now that this person is ready to explain their side to you they you know they, they, they just want to they just want you to hear them they just want you to listen to them that even if you're not gonna let them back into your life again especially if you're already taken or already married then what's important is that they will have a closure that they've been looking for for such a long period of time. Especially if you've been, you know, away from each other for less than five years or less than seven years. Okay. And, and again, you will be traveling on the around Friday before the weekends. Either it's um, Wednesday or Friday. And I feel like you just want to think you know, you just want to have a bit of a space for yourself. And I feel like you're getting a lot of confusions. You're thinking about a solution, you know, to a pertaining problem. Which is, this has been going on for such a long period of time. But, you know, your work will be catching up on you. And you will be focusing much more on your deliveries and your deadlines and your, um, you know, work obligations responsibilities while there is a fire sign who will try to you know get in between your busy schedule but then you will know how to handle this and even though this person is such a nuisance you will you know learn how to manage the uh, negative and positive neg uh, energies now I feel like you're not going to be that open to communications with this water sign once they try to reach out to you first. Because you are, you know, you're just going to tell them that you've already forgotten about them. You've already moved on. And for you, it's nothing, you know, like I've already forgiven you. But I feel like there's also some, there are a lot of things in your mind. That there are a lot of questions that you've been trying to find an answer for how many years as to why. Why did it happen? Why did you left me out of the blue? Why did you just walk away? 
you know, because why did you not let me know what really happened? So instead of being proud and instead of being in denial about this particular connection with this water sign, I feel like it's time for you to be a little bit more open and hear them out. Even if you don't want them back in your life, you know, not necessarily that they're going to be asking for another chance, but I feel like this person just can't find the peace that they really want or, or the peace of mind, okay? Or there's something about their relationship that keeps on going and going and going and going. It is because it, there is a karma that's stuck from the past. And the only way for them to free up themselves is to ask for forgiveness and closure from you. Of course, there's a part of you that will say, oh, why would I give that person a, a closure? Let them, you know, have a lot of uh, um, unhappy and miserable relationships because that is what they have done to me. Now, look, if you will do that, and if you will intentionally keep someone hanging, then you're also attracting the same kind of karma. It is much better for you to free yourself up from this ties or from this karma so that you will also move on and you will also have a uh, happy and harmonious relationship because look at your domestic life as well or you look at your own relationship. It is also not working out the way you wanted it to be. Not unless that you want to have this kind of life for the next 10, 20 years, then fine. But I feel like it's time for you to let go, let go of the grudges, and it's time for you to forgive. Okay? Don't hold back someone just because that you want to get back at them. Because it's not going to be a very good idea. Everything else has their own, you know, price. And uh, everything, you know, happens for a reason. So... This person has been, this water sign has been trying to reach out to you, but I feel like the, uh, let's say for example, an email address that they know or a number that they know, they can no longer contact you, but then try to be a little bit more open and try to be a little bit more, you know, um, what do you call this? Like a open-minded, yeah. And let the communication in. Okay, and even if you feel like, why should I, you know, because this person just left you right in the middle of everything and you can't seem to forgive, you know, forgiveness is actually a very big thing for you and you are the, the kind of person who doesn't know how to forget, okay, you can hold a grudge for 10, 20, 30, 50, you know, until the day that, you know, that you pass away. But why would you live your life with this kind of heaviness in your heart? And why would you live your life dragging, you know, like a, um, like a heavy metal, you know, in your, uh, in your feet, and you're dragging a heavy chain just because that you don't want to forgive this person and let them suffer. But don't you think that you're all, that you will also be suffering if you do this? Okay? So, financially, it's going to be a very good week for you. And it's also going to be a very active week for communication. So don't worry about it. Your projects, your deliveries, your meetings will also be working out fine. I don't feel like there is something that will be finalized this week. But there will be a lot of progresses. That's why you're going to be very busy as much as you want to have a long vacation or long weekends. You have to go back to hand over your deliveries or to hand over your deadlines. All right. So anyway, that's it for you for now, Capricorn. If you want to talk to me live on the phone or live in the calls, just go and visit me at my website at sophieangel.net. Blessings to you.